I think Invictus is better in the high heat than this, but I do think this is better in the cold versus Invictus. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this. Abercrombie's First Instinct Together. Now, this is one that I saw get released a little while ago. I wanna say it's like Invictus, but there was something holding me back from not saying it was like Invictus, and thankfully I've had enough time. I've picked out enough similarities and enough differences that this has that Invictus does not have. The notes we got here are green apple, pineapple leaf, grapefruit, cardamom, lavender, orange blossom, musk, and sandalwood oh and cedar musk sandalwood cedar versus invictus this is a little bit more full i think invictus is better in the high heat than this but i do think this is better in the cold versus invictus because based on the cool or the heat it will kind of change a little bit. It becomes a little bit more full, becomes a little bit more sweet. But I did try this against Invictus Aqua and the only Invictus Aqua I have is 2016, which is the strongest one. Obviously the Invictus Aqua lasted longer. It's notorious for having extreme projection, but there's something about Invictus Aqua 2019 or Invictus Aqua 2016. What I really smell isn't the full Invictus DNA. I smell kind of one aspect, like one kind of pungent flower aspect to the Invictus, but I don't really smell much of the full Invictus kind of smell and in my opinion I don't really like that one note by itself so although Invictus Aqua does last a lot longer than this or noticeably longer the times that I did get whiffs of this it smelled better in my opinion just because it kind of retains its full DNA for longer so let's get into the pros of this fragrance the pros is that it's very likable it has good projection for the scent that it is now it's nothing insane it's something groundbreaking but I've tried a lot of fragrances like this and I've also tried a lot of Abercrombie fragrances a lot of them really are like a 45 minute to like a 60 minute projection kind of window it's as soon as I sprayed this up, it has more projection than I thought it would. It doesn't last forever, but I think the opening projection is really nice because it was bigger than I expected. More in the cold and with the dry down, you do smell that ANF signature style scent in there, which is what something I really like. I felt that Abercrombie has just a little tint that they put on fragrances and I enjoy when I smell that. Again, I notice it more in the dry down and in the cold. And this is best in middle temperatures because it has a little bit of that Invictus DNA, which obviously you know is like a fresh summertime scent. But as I was just saying before, it's not the best in the super high heat. However, once you go a little bit cooler, it actually smells good in the cool as well, but it also I wouldn't I wouldn't go with extremes. I think right down the middle is good. I actually kind of like that it, it bounces between both and it kind of smells different in the heat versus the cold. Those are the main pros. Let's jump into the cons in my opinion. The cons is that it doesn't really smell like first instinct. I kind of had to put that in there. Also the name together, it really doesn't sound anything like it smells in my opinion. This has kind of like a, an Invictus style vibe, but it's almost got like a marine little element, an extra little marine element to it. Almost like a little bit of um, seaweed in a good way. It's hard to describe. It doesn't smell like the first instinct whatsoever at all. I do think that the first instinct is a little bit more unique when I sprayed them side by side. There's just something about first instinct that smells good but it also smells very very different from anything else we've smelled before so i do appreciate that it is a little bit pricey for some reason this one is fetching a little bit more money than the other first instincts i think the other first instincts on ebay they were kind of in the low 20s for a 3.4 ounce maybe 25 for a 3.4 ounce this is going to run you definitely a lot more i think i got uh, this for 40 dollars, and it was the half size right here this kind of smells the most like a normal designer fragrance so i don't know if they had to put more money into this fragrance or they're trying to market this fragrance as being more expensive because it has a closer to a designery feel i don't know nothing even close to first instinct they just put it on there because first instinct is famous and people are going to buy it and it's one of those ones where i really do like it it's going to get hype because it has first instinct but I really don't think it should have been called that. It's nowhere near as unique as Fierce or First Instinct. I was just saying both those are much more unique. Maybe you could say that it smells similar to Invictus, that's a con, but once you get into this fragrance, it, 
is a good amount different than Invictus. People say like the green apple, the pineapple leaf, I can maybe spell a little bit of something that smells like green apple. I don't get it that much. I don't really get much pineapple, but it says pineapple leaf. So it, there is some sort of other small little elements in there. Cause I've smelled straight Mandarin, I've smelled straight orange and it's not that. So they're definitely putting little extra bits in there to kind of make it a little bit more unique. And even on Fragrantica, I saw somebody saying, that this had orange blossom and lavender. I do smell a very small hint of lavender, mainly in the dry down. And then also in the more heat, I do smell a little bit of that orange blossom. Orange blossom to me can almost smell a little bit like sunscreen. If I were to give it a smell rating, I'd give it a solid eight out of 10. Like if this smell hadn't been copied in Victus, if this was its own smell, I'd probably give it an 8.5 to a nine, but because it has some similarities, I have to give it an eight, but not any lower than eight because I was actually surprised by the extra stuff for this does and again you smell the more extra stuff in the cool environments versus the heat a likability I actually did not write down a likability rating but i would give this a 9 out of 10 this is a very likable style fragrance it copies that invictus style smell invictus is very likable i would say most abercrombies are very likable longevity and projection i would give this between a 7 to a 7.5 i'd probably land on a 7.5 by rating this for the kind of scent that it is because this kind of scent usually does not last long especially these um, fresh fruity scents even with the Invictus Aqua 2016 yes it lasted but the main aquatic notes and that kind of aspect did not last so usually this doesn't last I'd give it a solid 7.5 but if this was another scent like a, a normally a really thick scent I'd give it a 7 so it is not a powerhouse cold weather fragrance it is not a powerhouse warm weather fragrance like i said it does not really excel in extremes but i would rather have a fragrance that is better in the middle temperatures than that something that's only good for the heat and only good for the cold for the gym i'd probably give this a four out of five it smells like invictus it's light i think light and fresh works good for the gym i'd give it a four out of five a date i'd give it a three out of five it's good it's okay it's passable it's not the first thing i would go with but it is likable. It isn't something that, you know, is hard to get into or is kind of challenging. It just is likable at three out of five. School, I'd probably give us a 4.5 out of five because most Abercrombies, they project the best in kind of school situations. And this one is no different. School is kind of not hot, but not cold. Usually it's air cooled. And then on top of that, it doesn't have extreme projection, but it's got just enough to where people will probably smell you three, four rows over in a classroom. So it's really, really good. Work, I'm gonna give this a 3.5 out of five. It's okay okay it's solid but it's again it's not something that screams work there's a certain kind of vibe that i like with work you can even get a little sexy with it if you want but there's a certain vibe i'll give this a 3.5 out of 5. I would say this is a good casual everyday wear. The marketing campaign just does not match the smell. I don't know what they came out with a summertime fragrance recently or a little while ago. I don't know what I would call this, but it's it's more marine it's more summery, like first instinct together. It just does not sound like the way it smells. If this fragrance were to be as cheap as the other ones, I would highly recommend you get into it. And I do think that they actually took time making this and trying to make something that wasn't just a throwaway fragrance. I feel like they spent a little bit of time with this, which I can't say about every release. So I'm happy of what they've been doing recently. And if this goes on sale cheap, I'd say definitely pick it up. And if you like what I'm saying, definitely pick it up as well. So anyways, guys, that's been a little my little review of First Instinct Together. Let me know if you tried this fragrance. Let me know what your favorite First Instinct is. I would probably go with my favorite First Instinct as First Instinct Extreme. I smelled all the First Instincts again when I was making this video. My original opinion stays strong. The original First Instinct is much more transparent. It is probably the most unique out of all First Instincts, hands down. But there's something about First Instinct that is very, very, very youthful. You go to First Instinct Extreme, it's less in your face, it's less unique, it takes a little bit of robust, normal stuff that you'd find in fragrance, but it keeps that little unique zest of First Instinct. Even Although it's hard to not pick the original, I, my favorite is probably First Instinct Extreme. Then you have First Instinct Blue, but that's kind of like its own fragrance. First Instinct Blue is just a really nice, fierce blue style fragrance. That's kind of what it smells like to me. Thank you so, so much for watching the video. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of your guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, we're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.